So, next topic is that apart from the effect of the surface active elements, we will look into the another interesting uh, welding process which normally use welding of the uh, basically joining of the two pipes and the more efficiently with the less time the uh, with the low cost the pipes can be welded. So, that actually developed this process uh, um, from the uh, basic taking the basic principle of the arc welding process, but by incorporation of the uh, magnetic field here. So, this process is called magnetic impelled arc butt welding. So, what is the principle of this process? So, in a force welding process, so it is basically is a force welding process that actually rely on the electric arc to generate the necessary heating, but sometimes small melting can also happen and, and so that surface being the welded. So, what what happens that it is a it is a kind of first we heat the surface uniformly heat the surface and then after heating the surface we come into contact by the forge forging process and then it becomes the uh, it becomes welded after the forging process. So, in this case the arc actually it is a because more the cylindrical component is mostly used if you see the figure that two cylindrical component uh, can be joined here. So, arc is created at one point here between these two uh, between these two uh, circular component the arc is arc is created at one point. Then next point is that it is to uh, create the uniform arc throughout the whole circular section. So, first after creation of the arc then it spreads over through circular section. So, then when it is a melt uh, not heated and not uh, too much of melting little bit melting of this two surfaces happens. Then we simply do the press fitting of these two components and then it becomes welded. So, that is most easiest process in uh, for joining of the circular component, but what is the role of the magnetic field here. So, the basically magnetic field is created here to rotate the arc and, and st after starting of the arc to rotate the arc the magnetic field is controlled in such a that it spreads the rotate the arc. So, that it can create the arc between these two components throughout the whole circular section, but this magnetic field are basically generated with the permanent or the permanent or magnet or from the electromagnets. But advantage of this process it creates very uniform heating at the joint. So, the heating part are rapidly brought under the pressure. So, quickly brought the under the pressure and the forging action produces the final oil joint. So, what are the stages of the uh, magnetic impulse arc butt welding process. So, four basic steps first is the arc initiation of the arc, then stabilization of the arc, arc rotation so that and then finally, upsetting Ups <coughs> that means mechanical forging is required in this case also. So, these are the four basic steps first is the arc is initiated when the two joints are very close joints are slightly spaced with the applied voltage one point the applied voltage arc is created. And second part is the the arc rotation starts is due to the interaction of the magnetic field and the electric field. So, due to the presence of the magnetic field the electric field that start the arc rotation. So, in after the start of starting of the arc arc rotation the moment of the arc once the moment of the arc gets established. So, moment of the arc becomes established and the arc velocity is then stabilized and results in the variable arc ring around the gap between the joints. So, first initiation of the arc and then stabilization of the arc and then electromagnetic field basically try to rotate the arc and once the arc rotate uniformly throughout the whole ring then it it try to create the uniform heat throughout the ring. So, a thin layer of the molten metal actually appears at the tube end. So, once it is done then rapidly the upsetting the 
upsetting force is applied so that the metals can be fused metals can be joined. So, if you look into the typical advantages and limitation of this process is that advantage is that very less loss of the metal is also very less in this case and uniform welding. So, that is the basic features when you try to join the welding of a pipe and probably this process is very much advantageous in as compared to the other conventional welding process because the rotation of the arc throughout the whole structure it actually try to create the uniform heat throughout the whole circular path of the pipe. So, that is the another advantage. So, that is called the uniform welding power consumption is may not be very high no edge preparation is required because using the creating the arc we basically melt the surface and then only we do the upsetting force. So, less material flash also required and no filler metal is not required in this case and of course, the other point of view that it is also reduce the uh, machine maintenance. But one limitation of this process is that if thickness is very high probably is the it is if it is more than 6 millimeter then it is difficult to weld using this process because at that at very high thickness it is difficult to maintain the uniform heating throughout the whole uh, circular path of the file. So, that this process is limited up to the uh, 6 millimeter so far. So, we find out the applications of this welding process in this um, typical that bar welding of the thin wall thin wall tubes is even thick wall tube also can be done, but thick uh, thick wall tubes having some certain limitation like uh, I just explained it is a around 6 millimeter thickness tube can be joined. Bar welding of the solid components can also be joined and for a larger area and then tube to plate tube to plate welding and tube to flange welding can also be done using this process, but this process is mainly applicable for the any circular or hollow kind of or basically tube kind of uh, components or materials. But what are the apart from this circular or very circular symmetry components, what are the other options optional features of the of this process is that it can weld tube to tube or tube to flange and can well basically irregular or non circular components uh, as easy as circular. So, sometimes even it is non uh, circular components can also be joined by this process uh, or source other one of the uh, the main optional feature of this things one of the first state methods of welding of the tube. Uh, or basically the welding of the pipes is uh, using uh, this process. So, oil industry basically the welding of the pipes quickly they can use uh, this process.